Hey everybody, this is Erica Sabo. Today I'm doing another Let's Play, this time of a little game called Undertale. I'm pretty sure you've probably heard of it before, but I'm so excited to be able to record some of it for you. You know, I was actually sitting on this game, I've, I'm, I've actually already played a portion of it. And I was thinking to myself about doing this Let's Play, but then I was like, yeah, but everybody else has already done it before. And I'm like, screw it. I'll do it anyways. It doesn't matter. Because it's just so much fun, and it really... It's the kind of game that I want to do a Let's Play for. I like really quirky RPGs, and if I was going to do more Let's Plays, I would want to do more quirky games. So this is one of them. So uh, I'm really sorry if there are any audio issues. I'm kind of working through that right now with this game because the music is so lovely and I want you guys to be able to hear it and to be able to hear me fine too. So yeah, I guess let's get started. Um, let us, oh, oh. I was in a fight with Papyrus and then I couldn't beat him because I, my reflexes are shit. So, okay, goodbye. Oh my goodness. Um, yes. Okay, so we're gonna play as Ezra again. This was the name I used before. No. This is a really interesting game. I really like this game a lot. And it's gonna notice, like, it's gonna know uh, that I've already played it again, but that's okay. So I play as this cute little guy here. Sorry, I just need to fix something in my screen. Okay, is that, is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. I just need to make sure that was alright. Alright. So, um, yeah, I just fell into a pit, and I'm gonna go this way. Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. Howdy! I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hi, Flowey. Oh, you. <laughs> Why do you make me introduce myself? It's rude to act like you don't know who I am. Hey, I didn't make you do it. You knew all too well. Someone ought to teach you proper manners. Oh, jeez. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. Uh-oh. See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. And I can't leave the box. That's lovely. Yep. Okay. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Uh-oh. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. <laughs> I love the, the shifty eye. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. No way, man. No way. <laughs> hey, buddy, you missed them. Let's try again, okay? <laughs> no! <laughs> Uh, is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets! Friendliness pellets! Yeah, screw that. Yeah, now you're evil. You know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. No, I didn't. Well, kind of. Die. No! Please help me. Help me! No! Oh, thank you so much. This is lovely. My savior! What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Torio, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. Aw, thanks Toriel. It's nice to see you again. This way. I love doing the voices too, it's so much fun, oh my god. Oh 
Okay, so we're gonna save over here. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Yep, let's save. Oh man, I just saved over my old file. Oh boy. That is such a weird feeling when you do that, but I'm okay with this. This is fine. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Okay, thank you. Thanks for taking care of me. Uh, the ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. What is this? I don't know if I read this before. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk, not the middle road. There's some... I've done quite a few puzzles already, so I might remember some of them. I'm sorry if I, like, immediately do that, but it's just because I've already played the game, so yeah. Uh, to make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Let's see what this says. No. Okay. Whoa. Stay on the path. No! <laughs> Sometimes it's a little too safe. Press Z to read signs. That's nice. Or enter. Or whatever you need to. It's like press this one. Press this one. <laughs> okay. I'll press that one. It's kind of a babying section of the game, but you know, it's, it's, it's kind of part of it. Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Like it's a bit coddling, but it's um it's the point. The switch doesn't even work. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. That's one thing I really liked about this game, is the, the unconventional take on battles and how you deal with them with compassion and love. Well, you can. You don't have to. You encountered the dummy. Oh wait, no, that's not what I wanted, Adaro. I didn't want to attack it. Oops, my bad. <laughs> dummy stands around absentmindedly. Okay, I wasn't supposed to attack it. I was supposed to do something else. Okay, dummy. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you. You talk to the dummy. Dot dot dot. It doesn't seem much for conversation. <laughs> Toriel seems happy with you. You won. You earned zero experience and zero gold. I'm so proud of myself. That's like one of the biggest accomplishments you could ever make. Ah, very good. You are very good. Oh, thanks, Toriel. Thank you. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. I wonder if I can solve it too, Doriel. Whoa! Oh yeah, frog it! Hey, frog it! Hey, so I'm gonna check you. Frog it, attack four, defense five. Life is difficult for this enemy. It looks like he's sitting on a rock with eyes or something. Aw, I'm sorry. Oh man, look at Toriel! <laughs> Toriel looks so pissed. She gives him the evil eye and he like slides away. You won! You earned zero experience and zero gold. Good job. Wow, that's a bitchy face. Oh, Toriel. Okay. And you look so happy here. You're like, it's okay. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Okay. Let us go. Are we this is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Aww. Well, you know exactly what to do, Toriel. Can, can I do it by myself? Can, you, can I do it? Can I do it alone? I want to do it by myself. Self-sufficiency! No, I guess not. I mean, like, he's, like, really little, so... Whatever. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. No, because I need to face reality, ma'am. I need to face reality. 
You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Oh man. No, come back. I don't want to be alone. <laughs> this is... yeah, wow. I love the, the tension. Whew. This is stressful. I'm sweating bullets here. This, yeah, this is quite the boss battle, guys. Oh, look, there you are, hiding behind a pillar. <laughs> Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was just hiding behind this pillar, creepily looking at you while you were taking your test. <laughs> I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. <laughs> or that. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remem please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Alright, ma'am. Except I, I don't think I'm just gonna stand around here. Because why? I want to. gonna go. Oh, oh hey. Ring. Ring, ring, ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? Uh, there are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Click. Oh man, I'm gonna venture out on my own. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please. Use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Aw, okay. It says take one, take a piece of candy. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> you took a piece of candy. Press C to open the menu. That's how you open it. I couldn't remember. I was like, how do I do this? About yourself. Dialogue. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I'm afraid there's not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. You're very kind-hearted, Toriel. I appreciate it. Click. Wait. Whoa, there's more candy? No, I'm good. Wow, there's like a whole bunch of it. I didn't realize that before. Um, say hello. Dialing. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then, hello. I hope that suffices. <laughs> Click. I want to call you again. Okay, call her mom. <laughs> this is Toriel. Did you just call me mom? <laughs> Look at her blushy face, that's so cute. Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. Like, because I don't think I ever went through these. Oh my god, I can totally flirt. <laughs> Dialing. Cheek. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. Click. First I call you mom, then I flirt with you. Okay, I don't really need to flirt with you anymore. No! That's not what I wanted to do. Oh dear. Are you serious? And after you said you want to call me mother? <laughs> it's kind of fun playing with the game this time. <laughs> you are an interesting child. Click. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, let's save. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. So just so you all know, I accidentally...
called her to flirt with her again. I'm, oops, that was my bad. That's pretty funny though. Okay, file saved. So, oh, all right, let's see what we got here. Wimsum approached meekly. Let's check Mimsum. Wimsum. <laughs> Attack five, defense zero. This monster is too sensitive to fight. Uh, I have no choice. Yes, you do. Look, I don't even have to move. See, everything's cool. Wimsum continues to mutter apologies. Hmm, console. Halfway through your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. You won! You are in zero experience and zero gold. Yay! You know, I'm really happy I'm actually not doing like a like a face cam or anything, guys. Because I I want you to know that while I do try and look good in in public, I turn into a potato when I get home. Um, and that's just the way things go. So I don't look so great right now, and that is alright. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, so you don't want to see Potato Erica right now. Uh, I'm gonna compliment you. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply, Rivet. Aw, well, I'm, I'm glad you appreciate- Whoa, that was close. Froggit seems reluctant to fight you. For some of these, I actually, I don't, um, I don't remember um, what their particular tactics are, so maybe this is good. I don't want to threaten you. No, I want to like give mercy. How do I? How do I go back? Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna give you mercy. I will spare you, little one. You won. You earned zero and two gold. Woo! Okay. So I guess you know gold is is good. You know, but no experience. I don't need any of that shit. Okay, ring. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Wait, do not tell me. Is it butterscotch? Bingo. <laughs> I had a feeling. How did you know? Toriel, you're like a mind reader. When humans fall down here, strangely, I... <sighs> I often feel like I already know them. Maybe you remember from my last save file. Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. Strange, is it not? Well, thank you for your selection. Click. Alright. Oh man, come on, let me go. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Okay, now I get to move. Alright. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Alright, we're gonna push this rock. Oh man! Okay, we have another whims in here. So when it goes yellow- oh, I can already do it. Well, that's good. Well, I'm gonna spare you because I really don't feel like fighting you. And I have no reason to fight you. Okay, there we go. Oh boy. It's actually really fun playing this again. Um, I think I remember this one. Whoa. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, it's a little too far. Just a little too far. Okay, I don't even need to read that sign. I remember how to do this. I can do this. I can do this. Just went a little too far there. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna give you mercy. Come on, let's move on. Okay. I think I go all the way. There we go. Yes. Sweet. Okay. Push some rocks. Froggit and Winsum drew near. Can I spare both of you? Hop, hop. Oh, shit! <laughs> I did not think that through. <laughs> Froggit hops to and fro. Well, that's nice. Um, no. Froggit, I'm going to compliment you. Didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply. I love that. Aw, too bad. 
Barbie seems reluctant to fight, fight you, <laughs> fight you. So we're gonna spare you. Yay. Easy. Okay. We're gonna push this rock, and then we're gonna push this rock. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? I love this rock. You got some attitude. Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. No, that's not enough. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? No! Please move where I need you to move. Hmm? That was the wrong direction? Okay, think I got it. Was that helpful? Nah, you're so snarky. <laughs> hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. There we go. Snarky rock. Snarky rock. Okay. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. So we'll just save. There is a little mouse in there. I think it's cool. There's an old piece of cheese. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. <laughs> That's pretty gross. So we're gonna move on. Oh, hello! Ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? Sure. Oh, hey there, buddy. Hi, Napsablock. It's nice to see you again. So we're gonna check you. Napsablock, attack 10, defense 10. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, oh I'm real funny. No! With your tears! Crazy tears. Whoa! Napsablook is wishing they weren't here. I know. I know. Uh. Oh, you're so sad. I don't remember how to appease you. You gave Napsablook a patient smile. <laughs> really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. Okay. It's kind of nice not remembering exactly what to do, because then I get to see all the funny responses. Napsablook looks just a little bit better. Maybe we can flirt. I just weigh you down. No, not all the tears! I'm so bad at dodging. It's really not funny. Napsablook looks just a little bit better. Napsablook a little joke. <laughs> we need another joke. We gotta make you happy. You deserve to be happy. Cheering seems to have improved Napsablook's mood again. Let's cheer you on a little bit more. Napsablook wants to show you something. Let me try. And turning your tears into a hat. I call it Dapperblook. Do you like it? I, I like it. Napsablook. Napsablook eagerly awaits your response. No, I can't do it yet. I would like to cheer. Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Oh, thanks, Napsablook. You're cute, and I love you forever. Okay, uh, did you miss it? Spider bake sale down into the rate. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. I think I'm supposed to go this way first. Let's check. Yeah, okay. This is what I wanted. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. That's nice. Leave seven gold in the web. I don't think I... I don't have enough gold, so I can't do that. I don't know. I don't have enough. I wish I had enough, though. I know before, I think I, think I got more gold from enemies or something. I was able to get some. Ribbit, ribbit. Sigh. My friend never listens to me. 
Whenever I talk, you skip through my words by pressing X. <laughs> That's right, pressing X. Dot, dot, dot. Well, at least you listen to me. Aww. It's okay, Ribbit. Hey, Ribbit, too. Ribbit, Ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. Okay. Frog three. Oh, I gotta fight. Uh, Magos crawled up close. Oh dear. Um, um, okay. Um, what am I gonna do? I think that this one, I think that Mold Small likes to be alone, and Magos likes some, um, no, I think, um, let me see, oh wait, uh oh, I did the wrong thing, holy shit, oh my god, <laughs> okay, that's not what I wanted to do, um, okay, I actually wanted to give this one mercy, because this one likes to be alone, yeah, this one likes to just do the wave by himself, <laughs> Megos doesn't have a care in the world, so I'm gonna spare you too. Okay, I do remember that. I really need to replenish my health right now. I have not been taking very good care of that. Uh, yeah. Ring. Oh man, Toriel, seriously. Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday, you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Click. Okay, ma'am. Uh, alright. Let me see here. Ah, uh, what do I have? I have candy. Uh, if I have some of this candy, will I regain health? I can't even remember. Yeah, I regain health. Okay, that's perfect. That's exactly what I needed. There's just one switch. Uh, I think it was in here. I think? Oh, it's in the other one. Oh yeah, this guy. <laughs> I just gotta fight him. Vegetoid came out of the earth. So, uh, I'm going... To, let's see what he says here. Vegetarian. Attack 6, defense 6, serving size, 1 monster, not monitored by the USCA. <laughs> Part of a complete breakfast. Alright, Vegetoid cackles softly. Um, pretty sure I'm gonna devour you. You tried to eat Vegetoid, but it wasn't weakened enough. Oh, fresh morning taste. Okay, that's okay. Woo! Vegetoid's here for your health. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, you have to do dinner and then... You pat your stomach, Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. I'll, I'll eat my greens. Vegetoid's here for your health. Okay, so I'm going to devour you. You took a bite out of Vegetoid. You recovered five hit points. You won, you earned zero experience and four gold. That's still you giving mercy because Vegetoid wants to be eaten. Which is kind of terrifying. But that's good. That's exactly what needed to happen. No! Oh, I just wanted to get to that switch. That's okay though. This, this should be easy. Because you just spare one of them in order to make the other one happy and do the wave. Look at him. He's like, yeah. He's so happy. Goodbye. This game is, is really cute and super endearing. I always have a kick out of this, so I think that's everything there. Alright, so let's move on to the next room. Oh yeah, this place. I remember this place took me a while the first time. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. Yeah, this one definitely took me a little while, um, but I think I got it. Okay. Let's see what this says. If you can read this, press the blue switch. All right. So, mercy square. <laughs> Love this guy. He's so great. 
I can't get enough of that. I'm gonna give you some mercy too. Okay. I believe there's a switch back here. There's a switch, press it. Yes. Okay. So now we get to go into this room. Oh man, okay. Oh yay, health. Okay, so dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers healthy. Eat your greens. Whoa, shit. Oh my god, no! <laughs> no! Vegetoid gave a mysterious smile. Can I devour you? Oh, I didn't weaken it. No! No! Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Dinner. I pat my stomach. I just want to eat the greens. I want to eat the dough. Damn it. Oh, okay. Please, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Feed me. Feed me. Yeah. Okay. Yay, I really need it. Okay. Part of a complete breakfast. Yes. I understand. Okay. And then we're gonna do dinner again. Because I could use the hit points. As long as I don't get hurt in the process. Oh shit. No! No! Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, dinner, please. Sometimes fighting these guys is really annoying. Because it's just like, excuse me, like, I'm just trying to catch the fruit or vegetables. Uh, so we're gonna devour and now we are back up in health and I got quite a few gold from a vegetable. I can't complain. What does this one say? If you can read this, press the red switch. Okay. Right. Can't spare either of them, right? Um, Vegetoid I have to deal with because I don't think that the other one... He looks like he's having a spaz attack. Um, yeah, I need to, um, I need to have him for dinner first. So he can be alone. He'll be single-minded. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Vegetoid's here for your health. Okay, well I'm gonna eat you. And then he gets to be alone. La la, just be yourself. <laughs> See, that's so nice. We don't have to fight. I can spare you, little one. Uh, I kind of want to go back and um, get to switch. Press it. Yes, please. Uh, I like how everyone has their own character and they're all so endearing in their own way. I think it's really great. It makes me not want to kill them, and that's kind of the point of this game, is to show this kind of mercy in this unconventional setting, right? In your typical RPG, you're used to saving the world and fighting everything you can in order to get to that point. But what if these monsters are just harmless and they don't really want to fight you, right? Uh, if you can read this, press the green switch. So I'm pretty sure the green switch was here. Yes. Cool. Um, alright. This is gonna be easy. Spare you. Nothing like alone time. I totally agree with you. I love to be alone. You can be as silly as you want to be, and it doesn't matter. That's why I like doing videos for you guys. It's because I can be as silly as I want to be on camera. And it's perfect. Okay, so if we go this way, um, then we go to Toriel's home. I think once we get to that room, I'm gonna stop for now and move on to uh, another episode. But let's uh, let's go here first before we get there. Ribbit, ribbit, just between you and me. I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her, Ribbit. Okay, so we go here, and there's a beautiful scenery. You can't interact with it, though, unfortunately. And there's a knife. You found the toy knife. Which is kind of weird, because you're like a little kid. 
Um, he kind of looks like Chucky when I see him sometimes. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so we took the knife and then we're gonna head up here. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Hey Toriel. I I'm right here. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Not a scratch. Impressive, but still. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try and surprise you like this. Er, uh, well, I suppose I can't hide it any longer. Come, small one. Alright. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. It's kind of sad. Pretty tree. So this is Toriel's home. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. So we're gonna save here. Uh, and yeah, I think I'll leave it at this. I got to play quite a bit of the game. Put in just over 30 minutes. Uh, and this next part's gonna be really interesting. I think that this will be a really good time to stop considering some of the things that will come after this, which I'm really excited for. I really hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. It's been really fun doing these, and it's been really nice doing nice, relaxed videos for you guys. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this. And I will see you all again soon in a future episode, okay? Alright, peace.